We know that UC Davis is a trauma center. They provide optimum care. Family tells me that the boy was struck somewhere in this area, but from what police tell us, it is considered a non-life-threatening injury. I was sitting on my couch at the time with my wife, and we heard a loud pop. Stockton police say a two-year-old boy is stable after he was accidentally shot at his home in North Commerce Street just before 2.30 this afternoon. I saw like three little boys like right there and then yeah, one of them was crying. No, it wasn't just crying, it was screaming. The boy was reportedly hit in the lower torso area. A family member says the bullet exited from the boy's backside and that he was left alone with his five-year-old brother when the shooting happened. Rob Clifton lives in an apartment directly below the toddler and witnessed a family member spring into action. Yeah, that guy is just a hero. He's the he one do? who came over here, didn't even hesitate. He had blood on his leg, dude, and he picked the baby up, threw him in the car. And rushed the boy to the hospital nearby. When you see two babies sitting on a hot cement, you, you, won't, you don't care about what's going on around. I didn't care. If it was any danger, I felt he was in more danger than anything. Police wouldn't say yet if the young boy accidentally shot himself or if someone else pulled the trigger. Find a gun. If you think it's real, don't go to it. Don't, don't even touch it. It's unclear if the boy's mother, who was taken to the police station in question, faces any charges for having the gun and leaving the boys alone, causing injury. The great uncle of the boys, who is a trucker from Arkansas, says he had an uneasy feeling about his family members last night. I've been praying all night last night, and then something told me to come over here to check on my family. So I know it was nothing but the Lord doing his thing. So, yeah. and you know, that's the way he works. So the mother will have to answer as to what happened, but again, unclear at this point if she'll be facing any charges. Reporting live from outside UC Davis, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.